Okay, so I'm sitting in reclined position. I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, sure. Cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist and you can watch Amos's side of the adventure. Morning. Pretty foggy out. Um, I'm assuming it might burn off. I gotta finish that chair. Today Amos is gonna take his bow and try to go get a grouse. But I think I'll go to one of the islands to fish from shore because it's just too awkward in the kayak. And you get the waves and the wind. The long fishing pole and as a result I got the hook in my finger. I set a crab trap out there that I want to go check as soon as possible, as soon as there's enough water in the river channel to get out to where it is, and before it gets too windy, because in the afternoons it seems to just get windy, so I want to get ahead of the uh, wind and the waves. Now Moses is trying to finish up his bow with one more heat treatment, get his arrows ready so that he can maybe go uh, grouse hunting with his bow and I really hope that he gets one. He's put a lot of time and effort into this bow. It looks beautiful. He's done an excellent job and I think he's going to end up uh, getting a grouse with it so that would be good. I just thought I would uh, give you a little tour of our new camp setup. You got to see lots of footage of the first location Got my tackle box there. So we do our cooking here. I mean, we can have fires, but this is easier to make coffee here in the mornings. Backpack sitting there. Very scenic spot we have here, though. We keep the kayaks up above the high tide line. It's low tide right now. We can't even really get out to the ocean right now. All our fishing tackle. Big pelican uh, case for batteries and camera gear. Fishing regulations. Charging station. We're charging the last of our, our batteries. With the drone, trail cams, satellite phone, case of an emergency like a uh, hook through your finger. But you can see that to do uh, a series this long in the bush takes a lot of gear. Like the camera gear, when that pelican case is full of batteries and all the cameras, it probably weighs about 80 pounds at least. Just sharing little things about the campsite. You know, it's kind of behind the scenes, you know. Just show you what goes into making a video series like this. It's just a lot of gear that you need, especially camera gear. My bush camel. You know what I am, don't you? I'm a bushman. Careful. Maybe I'll hit one on the head. Knock him out. Huh. I tell you, eh? Sure jumping. Oh, I still mean it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out in the kayak. Oh, I just had a bite. Yeah. Well, they probably are coho. But I'm gonna go to the island and 
do some fishing. You have to take advantage of when the tide comes in because there's only certain times we can get out there. Let's try not to get a hook in our finger today. Yeehaw! And they're off to the island. I don't really care what I catch. I mean, I guess I should have kept that fish yesterday for something to eat, but. All right, well, nothing in the crab trap. We're gonna see about just getting some kind of fish, a little bit more bait for the trap, maybe try it somewhere else. And I'm gonna be very careful not, but it's nice because we're not drifting. This is perfect jigging situation. Uh, no waves really, at least nothing major, so. Look at the seals, they're just playing. Huh? Oh, are they otters? Oh yeah. Good cast. Well, it's easy when you got heavy weights, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Those otters are pretty noisy. Right? Sounds like a kid screaming. You got one? Oh, you're snagged. Oh, oh, I just had a bite. Oh, he's back. I'm gonna get him. Couple of hits there. I'd really like to fish for salmon. Here we go with this episode again. It's all wrapped around the hook. Oh, I tell you. Now it's starting to get a little wavy. I'm hopeful that I still get a, a coho. They're jumping out here, but they're not going for what I'm trying to give them. But they're jumping. It's like they're after flies of some kind, but I don't really see anything on the water to indicate what they might be after. That's the thing. So I don't know, you know? And there's schools of them jumping. Like at times, there'd be a school over here, they're all jumping. Then they go somewhere else, but you see them in different spots, uh, jumping like crazy. Well, I gotta try different things, I guess. Bring it. He's running around with his can of dog food. Empty can, like it's a toy. <laughs> Is that your new toy? Can we can since get a stick now? Is that, is that your toy? Get your, get your toy. That's ridiculous. You still got your can? <laughs> oh yeah. Really need a fish here, man.
take a run up to the ocean here. I can see the action on the tip of the rod, so I know that it's working. Nice day though, other than the wind, it's pretty nice out. A little chilly in the morning. It's nice to fish out there when it's calm, dead calm, but uh, in these weather conditions it's just pretty tough to operate the kayaks. So come and work on my chair or get a fire going to try to dry out. My clothes have been wet for a couple of days really. Just from kayaking you get water splashing in and this and that. But well, about the only place I can fish is here on the river. They are in here too. Or maybe it was just the stick. I have lately spent quite a bit of time. I've had a couple of bites, but I just do not seem to be able to catch one. So it's been berries and plants, and thanks to almost fish once in a while, but he hasn't had a fish for a while either. So at this stage, you start thinking about food quite a bit. A Big Mac, a pizza, things like that. And uh, and just a shower and clean clothes will be nice. These long adventures take their toll. Mentally and physically, they do. So there was a bear just walking on the other side of the log, just across from camp, just right on at the river. I, Finley was barking at something and like always, by the time I saw the bear on the log, get the camera, the bear was gone. So obviously one of the bears that hangs around camp, because we hear them just about every night, there's more than one. There's a big one. And then there's this one. He was kind of a medium size. There's, there's so many bears in this area. It's quite something actually. So I got to cut more, uh, branches for my seat it would appear that Finley has taken some of my sticks away it's not a big deal I got to get this chair finished I want to continue to do some adventures with different people from the Alone Show. I'm going to do some more stuff with Amos because he's a real nice guy, easy to get along with. Always think about uh, Dick Prenicky. He spent like years in the wilderness in Alaska. He built his own log cabin and he was a real woodworker. And uh, some of the stuff, the hinges on his cabin were all out of wood. It was 
It's quite the documentary on him, actually. Now I just tied a loop on the rope. It'll be one for each side. Then I can set my different positions. That's like full recline there. Okay, it seems like I'm gonna have to just lengthen this and hook it on the bottom here for my different positions. So I need a loop about there. So that will hook there. That'll be my upright position. And then at the end, we'll tie another one. And that will be my uh, recline. All right. I knew I'd figure it out. <laughs> okay, well, that's enough time on a chair. Different positions by just adjusting to different loops. Okay, so I'm sitting in recline position, pretty comfortable. Uh, I had to make the loops in different spots actually because the rope does stretch a bit. Waiting for our mouse to hopefully bring a grouse. Pretty hungry days, pretty hungry days at the end here. This other spot doesn't have the berries and the plants like we had at the other locations, so... When you're not getting fish, there's just not much. Time for a fire. And it'll fold up. And off to the fire we go. Get some proper firewood. Now, the old uh, survival thing is burn it in half. Don't keep cutting big chunks. I might cut it once more and then just burn it in half. piece I wanted blew off. Got pretty burnt there. Get pretty filthy out here for this long, I can tell you that. My crooked chair for my crooked back.
that final level spot is the trick. Yeah, I don't know where the most is. I mean, I thought he would have been back by now. It's almost dark. Hey, Fins? All right, you find a stick now? Oh, that's a good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, yeah, shake a paw, shake a paw. Oh, you're such a pretty, pretty boy. Fins. Are you worried about Amos too? Hmm? Well, it's twice now we had to... Okay, I'll throw it. Let go, let go. Oh, there you go. Ha! Did you find it? How did you find that? I threw it way over there and it's just a little stick. Where are all with this one? I'm just wrecking it. Okay. Well, it's in pieces now. You want me to throw pieces? How about this bigger one? Well, I may as well try. The fish are jumping over this way. Try one more time here. Had a bite. Good spot. I don't have a lot of weight. It's hard to get it out there. fish and uh, I don't know where Amos is. It's basically too dark to almost walk through the bush so I don't know where he is but I'm just about ready for bed. I finished my chair, tried a bit of fishing. Yeah it'd be really cool if he showed up with uh, a grouse or two. Uh, that bow he made was awesome but it's been a interesting adventure um i hope you enjoy it we'll see you in the morning i don't know what that is it's either a bear cub or a cougar it doesn't come right to camp but it keeps doing it Something up in the tree. Yeah, it's a bear cub. Right in the tree. Right there. He's coming down the tree. I don't know where Mama is. 
Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Makery Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.